everybody, it's Mindy at Bayside Corals. As many of you know, our display tank crashed over the Christmas holidays. Let's take a look and see how it's doing. Well, here's the tank the next morning. Uh, we don't have any ammonia on our checker yet, so uh, maybe the prime is doing its job or maybe we just haven't had the ammonia spike yet. Uh, the tank is cleared up a bit and it's clear that uh, all the Acropora corals have died. Uh, the fish and the corals that we moved to the other tanks, uh, some of them are still looking a little iffy, but uh, a lot of them are going to pull through. If you have this happen to your tank and you do keep some of the corals in there, it's a good idea to turn the lights down lower and just run your blue lights. I have them turned on just so you can see right now, but I'm going to turn off the fluorescent lights and just run the blue LEDs. Here's our display tank a week later. Uh, you can see that some of the corals in there are opening and doing okay. Mostly the pallies and zoas that were in there that are attached to the rock that we couldn't take out. You can see in the back also uh, the red of a Monty cap that also made it through. All the Acropora corals in the tank did die off and almost all the corals that we removed out of the tank did survive. The only coral that we removed from the tank that didn't survive was a fungia plate coral. Uh, we are keeping the skeleton of the plate coral that did die because sometimes when they die slowly like that, they'll sprout babies off of it at a later date. So we're gonna wait and wait a while and see how it looks with our fingers crossed and hope that we get some babies out of it. In the meantime, uh, this tank has had a few Aptasia in it and it's really irritated us a lot. And so now we have the opportunity to get rid of the Aptasia and actually since the crash, the population has just absolutely exploded in there. So in order to get rid of the Aptasia, we're going to take some measures that might sound a bit drastic. We're actually going to bleach the system. What we're going to do is remove as many of the corals as we can that are attached to the rocks, and then we'll add a dose of bleach to the system. Before we bleach the tank, we're going to take all the rocks out, vacuum all the sand, give it a really good cleaning, and then we're going to redo the rock work in there and create something new. We're not suggesting for anybody else to try and bleach their tank unless they know what they're doing. And you definitely have to realize that it's going to kill off pretty much everything in your tank. Bleach should only be used in really drastic measures or in a situation like ours where we don't really have anything left to lose. If we run that in the system for a couple hours, that's enough to kill off anything that's on the surface of the rock, but it's not going to damage the bacteria that are inside the rock. That will cause the tank to cycle a bit, but it won't be real bad, and the system will be able to restart quite quickly. I'd also like to point out that our ammonia alert here has uh, been a saving grace for the tank. It has showed us that there's been ammonia in the tank a couple times, and we've been able to add doses of prime to get rid of it. Without that ammonia alert in there, we probably would have lost the rest of the corals in the tank. So that was a lifesaver for some critters. Stay tuned for our next videos and we'll keep you up to date on how the tank progresses from here on out.